This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this mosaic photo effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out the GIMP series, which is a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the major tools and functions in GIMP, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. So we'll go ahead and get started here with our tutorial. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the Gimmick extension uh, installed. Gimmick is a third-party extension for GIMP. It could be located over here. We go to Filters. Gimmick and you'll see it there once it's installed. If you don't have this installed already, I'll put a link in the description to where you can download and install that. And then once you have that installed, we want to make sure we have some photos to work with as well. So uh, I'm going to open this folder here and if you notice I have 50 different random stock photos that I downloaded from Pixabay. If you go to uh, pixabay.com, uh, it's, it's a site for free stock photos. You could just go and download a, a bunch of random photos. Unless you already have the photos you want to work with, then you could just work with those. Uh, so uh, 50 is a good sample size. You don't want you don't want too few photos. If if, if you only use like 10, it's not going to really work. You're going to see the same photos repeating over and over again. So I think 50 is a pretty good size to work with. Uh, and then finally, we're going to need our subject photo, which is over here. Again, this is just another stock photo that I found from Pixabay, and I'll be working with that with this photo for this tutorial. So uh, what I want to do now is create a new document. I'm going to go to File New. I'm going to create a new document at 1280 by 720 or somewhere thereabouts. Click OK. Let me zoom out a little bit. And now I want to open up all of those photos as individual layers. So I'm going to go to File, Open as Layers. And I'm going to navigate over to that folder where I have all of the uh, photos saved. I'm going to click on the top one, scroll down to the bottom, hold Shift, click on the bottom one so we have them all selected. Go ahead and click Open. And you'll have to give it a minute or two to process and do its thing because it's opening up every single one of those photos as individual layers, as you can see here on the bottom right side of the screen. So uh, just give that a minute. And there we go. As you can see, we have all of our photos opened up there in the center of the page. And once we've done that, we can just go to Filters and click on Gimmick. And what we're going to be looking for in here, we're going to click on Arrays. We're going to expand that, Arrays and Tiles, and then come down to Montage. And once you click on Montage, if you notice here, I just have all of the basic default settings here. I'm not going to touch anything here. And as you can see, we have a preview of what's going to happen over here on the left. I'll go ahead and click OK. And again, this is another one of those things where you have to give it a minute or two to process because it's doing a whole lot of work there. And once we've done that, we have this little uh, montage here. And it opened it up as a new image. If I come back over here to this tab, you'll notice I still have these individual photos opened up as layers. And what it did was it took them and created them as a new flattened image entirely. So this right here is still not enough photos. We're going to need a lot more photos than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that gimmick extension again. I'm going to go to Filters, Gimmick. Actually, no. You know what? I have to multiply these layers first. Uh, where it says Montage, this layer right here, I'm going to come down to, uh, to where it says Create a Duplicate of the Layer and Add it to the Image. I'm going to click on that nine times so that we have ten copies of this layer. So I'll click on that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we have ten copies of this montage right here. And now I'll go back to Filters, Gimmick. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to leave all of the default settings there. Go ahead and click OK. Give it a minute to do its thing. It's processing even more data now. And there we go. That's now what we're looking for here. If you zoom out a little bit, you can hold Control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out. You can see we have a whole bunch of photos there. So that right there is what we're looking to work with. What I'm going to do is go to Edit, Copy Visible, and now we're going to open up our subject photo. I already have this opened up on another tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit, Paste As, New Layer. And it's going to paste that montage as a new layer, only we have to scale it down because it is way too big. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit by holding Control and rolling down the mouse wheel. You can see the border of the, mont of the uh, collage there uh, in, in relation to the size of the document. I'm going to grab the uh, alignment tool. I want to make sure I have this set to image. And then I want to click on the, the image there in the center. And you're going to notice these boxes up here in the corner. And once you get that, I'm going to click on this one that says Align Left Edge of the Target. And then I'll come over here to where it says Align Top Edge of the Target. Click on that as well. Let me move this over a little bit. To move the screen around, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. And now I want to scale this down, so I'm going to look for the Unified Transform tool. Um, 
which is right here, or you can press Shift T on the keyboard. I'm going to click on the photo here, and we're going to get these nodes. Make sure to grab the box node on the outside over here. You don't want to grab this little diamond. You want to grab the box right here. Click and drag that. Hold shift on the keyboard to lock the proportions and just scale it down so that it fits the size of the box of the uh, the document there. You might have to zoom in to see it a little better. Right about there is good. I'll press enter to finalize that. And let me grab the move tool and just move this over a little bit. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard so it locks it onto the uh, horizontal axis like that. Move that over like that. And what we want to do now is where it says mode, we want to set the blend mode to overlay. And that right there is looking pretty good, but it's not quite there yet. Uh, the, the colors need to be adjusted a bit. We need to make it so that we can see these as individual photos and also see the subject's face as well. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the portrait image. I'm going to, I'm going to select that layer beneath it. I'm going to go to uh, colors and shadows and highlights. And if you notice here, like where the hair is, there's a lot of um, the, the, the darker images of the areas where the shadows are. It's kind of hard to see the individual photos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the shadows up like that. And if you notice, it brings out more of the uh, it brings out more of those photos there. Go ahead and click OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the saturation a bit as well because I feel like the colors are bleeding. The the colors are too uh, they're too dominant for the subject's photo. So I'm going to go to colors saturation. I want the I want more of the colors of the individual photos showing through. So I'm going to bring down the saturation of this a little bit. Go ahead and click OK to finalize. Actually, yeah, that's pretty good. Click OK to finalize that. And that right there, I'd say, looks pretty good. The idea here is that when you're zoomed in all the way, you see more of the individual photos as opposed to the face. Whereas when you're zoomed out, you see more of the face. It becomes more visible because that's how typically. Uh, how photo mosaics work. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating a photo mosaic effect using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.